What up, what up, everybody? Sonic Blue here at the gaming console, and we're going to the Genesis with this one with a little beginning to our madness of Halloween. We're going to the Genesis for Electric Arts title Haunting Starring Polterguy. This is probably one of the most gruesome games you can find on Sega Genesis. Also very, very classic. Now basically the story goes that uh, you're this kid who buys the skateboard and you have this freak accident, you end up getting hit by a car with while you're riding it, and because you are filled with such a huge um, grudge against the people who manufactured the skateboard, that you decide to go to their house sneak in in spirit form and haunt the living bejesus out of them uh so basically your quest is to scare the sardini family out of their houses by jumping into objects manipulating them bringing them to life and totally scaring the hell out of them as you can see now as you play along you will notice a green life bar at the bottom that is your ectoplasm level and you need to keep that up and if you run out of ectoplasm then you need to go into the special stage to collect more but beware there are a lot of obstacles to get around and a lot of things that want to kill you while you're in this area trying to collect ectoplasm to power your ability to hunt things back in the real world again Now, some of the objects that you possess will be just jump in and jump out, and they will automatically animate. Some of them will be controlled by you. Some of them will be um, controlled at certain times when the character gets close enough to it. So I hope that explains the control a bit. So let's get started in playing Haunting Starring Guy. As we scare the living hell out of the Sardini family one by one. Let's play. Alright, skip the intro because I already explained what this is. There's the Sardini family sitting at the dinner table, throwing food at each other, reading the paper, trying to eat and having a normal dinner with everyone. The chandelier falls down, scares the living pants out of everybody, and the game is on. All right, let's first of all hit start and check out our map and see where everybody is. All right, well, Tony is down here. All right, he's in the main hallway, so let's see if we can scare up a... Oh, nope, he went away. Okay, come back in here. Let's see, what can we possess? Let's go for the airplane. Activate that. Okay, this is one we control. Blow it up right in front of him. Let's go over to the guitar, possess it. Ninja poster, possess it. Guitar turns into a snake, tries to get him. Now let's just hang around and watch the fun. There's the ninja. <laughs> that would scare the hell out of me. Now the bed. That would scare the hell out of me too. Alright, let's see if we can get him to run over here. Activate it! Okay, this one is one you control. Now, the more you scare the person in the room, the more ectoplasm they drop. Oh, he's running the opposite direction, so... Okay, let's pick all this up. And where did he go? Tony, where'd you go? Okay, in the next room. Nope. Now, where did he go? He's in here now. What you want to try to do is get them to run towards any door that would lead to an exit. Sometimes that's very hard to do. Okay, this one we can wait. As you can see, it's got an orange glow to it. We can wait. Oh, he's running it for it, so I better activate it before he leaves. Oh, 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 oh. Chair, chair. No, 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 no. Damn. Too late on that one. Yeah, anything that glows orange... You can jump in and wait until the character gets close to it. And the closer they are to your possessions, or possessing, you know, the items that you possess, the closer they are to you when you possess an item, the more scared they get. Let's 
see if he'll make a run for it over here. Okay, come on up here. North side door, come on. Ah. Alright. Oh, he's running down here. Ah, nope. Okay, remember, do not leave the room until you picked up all the ectoplasm. You're going to need it. Alright, he's back in his bedroom again. Let's see if we can't get him to run towards the door. There he goes, he's leaving. He's leaving, he's out, he's out. Alright, Tony's gone. Now who's our next victim? Let's go up to where that says M. I forget what her name is, but... That's a closet. Okay, I have to go through this door. Then up through here. Mimi! That's who that is. Alright, let's jump into a few blue ones. The blue ones are the ones you jump in, you jump out. Oh, come on, where are you going? The blue ones you jump in and out of, and, you know, they activate whenever they get close enough to it. So let's get her to get scared down this way. Let's scare her down here. I love her animations, by the way. Oh, and that sound means you're running low on ectoplasm, too, so you better make the most of it while you got it. Okay, let's see if we can't do a couple of quick possessions here. Okay, we can wait on this one. Hopefully she'll run down where we're at. We need a good scare from her. Come on down, Mimi. Oh, nope. Ran out of ectoplasm. So now here we are in the bonus area trying to pick up ectoplasm. Now try to stay away from the walls if you can. Those fists will come out and grab you and you take down your life force. As you can see that picture of you down in the lower corner there. That just means that that's just how much life force you have left. So you definitely want to keep that fulfilled. So all you're doing here is picking up as many of those globs of ectoplasm as possible. Oh, he got me. Oh, watch out for those bats, too. They'll take a lot out of you, too, because there's so many of them. Come on, get it. There we go. Ooh, big one. Ooh, watch out for that hit, hit, fist. It'll get you. Oh, right, right next to the fist. Yeah, that's real fair. Okay. When you get to the end, that glowing thing on the floor means go on that and go or land on it, and uh, then you back in the real world with a full tank of ectoplasm. So let's put it to work. Now what I like to do is I like to try and attempt, and it's, it's not always easy, but I like to try to give them a different scare every time they come into the room. Uh oh, she's making a run for it. Oh, she ran. It's also difficult to stand in the right spot so that you can possess the right item you're looking for. Oh good, she's in here. Okay, plane crash. Crash it right in front of her. No, where are you going? Wrong way! Damn it. You basically have to try to wrangle these people into going where you need them to go, and it's... That's a challenge in itself. I love that temper tantrum she has! I love it! Okay, over here, over here. There we go. That's one of the ones you wait for. Okay, she's coming this way. She's coming this way. Coming this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, jump. Ah! Took too long. All right, let's follow her. Let's jump into this book. Oh, it's an orange one, so I have to do it right away. Okay, the couch. Hold on a second. Is she leaving? No. No. Yeah, she left! She's gone! She's gone! Mimi's gone! Next... Oh, right next door to F. Fifi, I think it is. I, it's been a while since I played this. I'm surprised I remember Mimi. You got Mimi, you got Fifi. Sounds like a dog's name. 
Come here, Fifi. Oh, she's up there. Or Flo. Flo, I'm sorry. Her name is Flo, I just remembered. Fifi. That's probably their dog's name. There she is. There's Flo. Alright, let's jump into the table. She's right next to it. Oh yeah, fall on the floor. Now we're getting her fear level up. Jump into a few items here. Oh, the vacuum cleaner. I get to chase her around with the vacuum. Ah, I didn't get close enough to her. She wasn't that scared at it. I love that. I love that. I love these animations. I love how the many ways you can scare the Sardini family here. No, 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 no. I jumped in the wrong one. I wanted that orangey one, but that's okay. All right, we got it all. All right, are we near a doorway? Let's see. This is the one we get to control, because it's green. Oh, man, she left. She left before she got scared. That's not fair. All right, let's jump into a few of these guys here. I didn't want to jump into that one. Chair. Another chair. Do this one while she's nearby. There we go. Very high fear level. I like to see that. Alright, let her go. Pick up the plasma. Ectoplasm, whatever. Next room. Oh, she's right by the out the exit door. Okay, jump into the couch. Clock. I want to try to get her up here. Oh, come on. We're oh, there she goes. She's leaving. She's leaving. Door's open. See you later, Flo. Now that just leaves Vito. Vito Sardini. He's way over here in the corner. As you can see, the first house is pretty simplistic. It does get a bit more challenging the more deeper you go. The Sardinis wind up moving into a combination of four different houses. And if you can scare the day living daylights out of all four of them, then you win the game. Let's see if he's still there. Yep, he's still there. Alright, whoops. There's the door he needs to go out of. So we need to scare him out of the garage into the into the next room. This one is a controllable one. It's green. Just basically chase him around with a chainsaw. Good, clean, harmless fun. Jump into... Oh, well, how did I jump over there? I'm going to jump into the table saw. Mice coming out of the garbage. That's really that scary, but... Oh, now he's making a run for it. Oh, I'm running out of plasma! I'm running out of ectoplasm. Well, I got a good bandwidth there, so... Oh, where did he go? Damn you, Vito, you ran two rooms ahead of me. I wanted you in here. Alright, let's see what we can jump into here. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, there's a chair. There's an orange glow I can activate when he gets near. Now! Oh. Okay, that turns into a brain. What the hell is he doing? He's going around in circles. That's a new one. I've never seen him do that before. Come this way, yeah. Alright, ready? Now! Okay, can I jump into this thing? Nope. He's not gonna see it. Alright, give me some plasma. Ectoplasm, I need it. Alright, that's about as much as he's gonna get me in this room. So, let's follow him down. Oh good, he's still here. Okay, give me something to possess. I'll take it, I'll take anything. Okay, I'm gonna stay in here until he comes up. Oh, I think he's on his way out, let me see. He's leaving! Yeah, yeah! Oh yeah, and your victory dance is tearing off your head and slam dunking it onto the ground. 
So now you scared them out of the first house. Or we have. I have. <laughs> you haven't. You're just sitting here watching me play. I've scared them out of the first house. Now let's see if we can scare them out of the next one. Now I think, if memory serves me right, you go into the bonus ectoplasm collecting level after you finish a house. Oh, get past the cutscenes. Yep, you gotta go through this, so... That gives you uh, health, I think. By the way, that red thing. Anything red, you definitely want, because that gives you more health. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Get away from the wall. Get away from that vortex. Thank you. Okay, give me that. Oh, I see. There are letters. I remember now. And I think you spell something and when... Give me that. I can't remember what it is you spell, though. But I do now... I do remember now that you do spell out something. That's... That's... Big glob, big glob. You okay, got a little bit of it. Okay, just trying to keep on the top of the game here. Oh, watch out for them skulls. There we go. Finish, finish, finish. Thank you. Sometimes the control can be a little wonky, 